Let's say we're asked to factor the following two expressions by grouping. We start by grouping the first two terms together and the last two terms together, and factoring out the GCFs individually. For the first two terms, we observe that the GCF is 3x squared. We determine what goes inside the parentheses, as we've done before, by dividing the two terms by 3x squared. 6x cubed divided by 3x squared gives us 2x. Negative 15x squared divided by 3x squared gives us negative 5. Now for 2x minus 5, we can simply factor out a GCF of 1. They don't have anything else in common. Dividing 2x by 1, we just get 2x. Dividing negative 5 by 1, we get negative 5. Now between these two giant terms, we see that the binomials do match. The 2x minus 5 is the same in both expressions, so we can factor it out as the GCF. Again, as we've done before, how do we know what comes inside the parentheses? We divide this first term by the GCF 2x minus 5 and get 3x squared. We divide this second term by the GCF 2x minus 5 and get positive 1. For the second problem, we have 7 plus y minus 3xy minus 21x, and we're asked to factor this by grouping again. We begin by factoring out a 1 from the 7 plus y. Nothing else seems to be in common. Factoring out the 1 will just leave us with a 7 divided by 1, which is 7, and a y divided by 1, which is y. For the last two terms, we can factor out a 3x. Now we want to start getting better at knowing which factors would give us the binomials to match. So if we had factored out a positive 3x, looking ahead, we would have gotten a negative 3xy divided by a 3x would have given us a negative y. But we need a positive y. So instead of spending our time first factoring out the positive, recognizing that the binomials don't match, we can just factor out the negative if that works better. So if we factor out the negative 3x, negative 3xy divided by 3x will give us oops, a y, and then negative 21x divided by negative 3x will give us a positive 7. Now at this stage, we see that the binomials match, but maybe they don't look the same. Maybe they don't look identical. So what we can do is we can rewrite the expression y plus 7 as 7 plus y. And the only reason we're doing that is so that it looks the same as this. With addition, we have a property called commutativity, which is to say that a plus b is the same as b plus a. So with addition and multiplication, we can rearrange the terms without causing any trouble. So the y plus 7 can be rewritten as 7 plus y. Now we see that the 7 plus y is common to both terms. So we can factor that out as the GCF. And how do we know what let's, what's left inside? Well, we divide the first term by 7 plus y, which gives us just the 1. And then when we divide the second term by 7 plus y, the GCF, we're left with negative 3x.